Hello everybody, Brad here today and welcome back to Project Hospital. So as you can probably see in our operating theatre just here, we're doing a surgery guys. So hopefully this means that this objective here will be completed very shortly. We've already treated 17 patients and it's only 9.45. So I really hope that we can do the 45 patients today and I hope that we can also do the 30 patients um, at emergency. So it's really good, so that's one objective done. Great stuff. So now, if we reach prestige um, of 80% in any of our specialised departments, and we've only got, I don't think, intensive care counts. I'm not sure. Um, but hopefully we can reach 80% prestige in general surgery, and that will mean that we'll get another $50,000 grant, which is awesome to see. Now, I wanted to try and make this room look a little bit nicer. Um, it's quite big, which doesn't really help. Um, a big room means that you've got more space to fill at the end of the day, doesn't it? So, But I think, to be honest, the best way to use this money is going to be to start paying off more and more of our loan. Now, last episode, we were working on our intensive care department over here, which was awesome. And I just wonder if it's worth us maybe spending a little bit of money on getting another form of radiology, whether that's CAG, CT or MRI. Um, what kind of price are we looking at? So CAG is fairly inexpensive. Could do something like CT. I just think it would be useful to have another form of radiology down here. Um, let's maybe do... I think CT would be the one that would be good so maybe let's see if we can do it on the cheap for starters so if we get um yeah we'll get the x-ray door again oh no because we're not doing an x-ray so let's go for um, one of these double doors something like that and then for the walls we'll go for I mean, a brighter room would be quite nice, a little bit brighter. Let's go for a white floor. And then for walls, we're going to go... Maybe we'll get some... Oh, no, that's the same wall as the corridor. Maybe... Let's go for something like that. Something a little bit different. Yeah, sure. Sure thing. Right, so this is going to be CT. So in here, we're going to want this little room at the side, like we did with the other one. Too wide is absolutely fine. Then we'll get a door with restricted access going behind into there. And then we'll put a little wood floor down in there, just to make it a little bit different. Then I imagine we'll want some watch windows. And then behind there is where we will have our office desk with chair PC and then we'll just get a plant for the corner and then in there I think is also where oh I don't think there is like a um, in the x-ray you have this little like gadget which actually works the machine but you don't have that so let's go the, um, the radiology viewer sorry there then we'll go for the CT machine there and then we can also get some stuff in like the mobile cabinet maybe there um, and while we're here we'll just get out one equipment cabinet just there yeah okay that's good it's um basic but it's not i don't think it's too basic because let's get stuff out like the liver um maybe we'll go veins we'll get veins maybe somewhere like there and we can get yeah okay i think that's enough and then we'll get a clock in there okay lovely so now we've got ct as well so let's get someone in to work there so casey's the best overall but he's pretty expensive um you're gonna be late to work let's get in 
and then you're good but we don't know what your perks are going to be well let's get you in we'll go with you um, what's your name Lisa and over time we'll find out what those hidden perks actually are but um, that's really good that's uh, I'm very happy that we've actually done that today that's really good and then can I get rid of oh you have to pay back in twenty thousand dollar installments okay now our capacity here is fine at the moment yes yeah, so we've got one bed left here so we have to be a little bit careful um there just to make sure that we do have enough beds for everyone those stretches are very noisy okay and what's going on up here so our general surgery department looks quite busy today there's quite a lot of people up here um, any patients at the moment? They're all kind of walking around. They're probably going to the labs to get their samples done. There's another guy on the operating theatre. Has he just had this done? Or is he having his abdominal surgery done now? Not too sure. Yeah, he just had it done. So I hope he's okay. And how are we doing for capacity up here? Yeah, pretty good actually. Pretty good. Okay, so we're just going to try and get up to our 45 patients treated overall. So that's another one treated in general surgery. What's happening downstairs? So here we've got Patricia Davis. Looks like she's definitely got something um, foreign. You know, cholera, appendicitis, amoebiasis. That's an interesting one. So is it... Okay, so it could be a few things still. So let's do. We're going to want to do something like a microbial sampling and we'll check her stool and her urine. Um, and here we've got Casey Martin, who's got pretty much exactly the same thing. So let's go and make sure that he gets his wee and his poo up to the lab. Who else have we got? We've got Paul King, he's got viral tonsillitis which needs rest. So Paul, go and get some rest. Lisa has got a tapeworm, so she's been treated as we speak. And then here's Jane Taylor. Again, it looks like it could be something microbial or viral. So let's have a look at your poo and your wee. Let's have a look at your poo and your wee while you're here. Um, and then let's do some microbial sampling. Okay, and we'll see how that goes. Our capacity here, what are we looking at? Okay, yeah, we're doing okay there. Um, looks like we have enough doctors of unnecessary surgery. Oh my God. The surgeons haven't found the expected symptoms during surgery. The patient was most likely misdiagnosed. A $20,000 penalty has been immediately applied by their insurance company. Well, that's not very good, is it? That is not good at all. Um, well, let's... I mean, what's going to... Can we do something like... Okay, so definitely do USG. Let's do those two and we'll see how that goes. Um, but it might also be worth us doing a CT. So let's do that as well because we do not want that to happen very often. I think that's already taken a $20,000. That is quite a hit. We really needed to save as much money as possible. So that is not very good at all. We've just lost twenty thousand dollars in a matter of seconds which i mean that is that is that is really bad that is not good at all but there's not much we can um we can do about that at the moment anyway so okay so we need to try and get as many patients out the door so what's happening up here We've got no patients in the doctor's offices. We've got quite a lot of people waiting for the labs, I think. They should all have two people in a day. Yep, yeah, the histology lab's quite busy again. So it might actually be worth us getting in another workstation. And I'll get one more person here for the day. 
Let's get hmm, someone cheap, possibly. Yeah, let's get you. We're gonna get in Charles Clark. So that's someone else working in the histology lab that should really make sure that patients um, are sort of turned around as fast as possible in our medical laboratories. Awesome stuff. Okay. So what's going on up here? I'm not really sure what's going on up here. I think just patients being moved around. We're going to the diagnostic. Oh, we've got a trauma. Okay. So here we've got Mark Baker. He's got a laceration either to his liver, his pancreas, or his spleen. So let's do a physical exam. We're going to get him straight into CT as fast as possible. So let's follow Mark and hopefully they'll go there as soon as possible. Do we need more staff? I think we might need more staff in emergency. So we've got one doctor and two nurses. Yeah, okay, so let's get one more doctor. You're not great, Joseph, but you're cheap. Let's get in. If we're going to spend the money, we might as well get someone really good, like Thomas Wilson. So Thomas Wilson's in. And then I'd like... To add another computer in here and what we'll do is we'll get at least one more nurse um, for the day you're actually pretty good Linda Garcia let's get Linda Garcia and at night we're gonna go with Kate Walker just so we have a few more members of staff that can treat patients and we made this room very very big didn't we it's extremely large and it looks like we might need to add um, another unit for intensive care so let's just do it I know it's gonna be expensive but let's just get that in so if they do need that bed and intensive care it's there available for them straight away they haven't got to worry about that looks like CT is being used that's really good it means that you know hopefully it means that we're gonna have a better chance of diagnosing patients which is great so let's try and get up to that magical 45 number so here we've got casey martin he's got a pork tapeworm so he needs some anti helminthics and then he can hopefully be on his way and we'll be up to 43. what's happening upstairs have we got any people in these rooms no okay so hopefully we'll get a few more patients coming through we done we treated 30 patients at emergency so that's going to increase our clinic patients per day to 25. Oh my god, we really need that. If we reach 90% prestige at the end of the day in emergency, we get a $100,000 government grant. I mean, how amazing is that? That would be absolutely amazing. Our emergency prestige at the moment looks okay, but it's not great. So we'll kind of see what's happening there. Mark Baker's still waiting for a CT. I assume we're waiting for the radiologist to come back. So is he going to come in now? Mark. Yeah, okay, so he's coming for the CT now. So let's see what that's going to do for his diagnosis. Is that going to give us any kind of indication what's wrong with Mark? Mm, no. Okay, let's maybe do. If we. Let's do an urgent. Oh, uh, he's doing a fast. Yeah, okay, that's great. We'll see what comes out of that. But if that doesn't work, what we might have to do is transfer him to the general surgery. Ah, he's got a penetrated pancreas. Okay, so then let's get him up for abdominal surgery. And hopefully this time we've got the diagnosis correct, else that will be... that will not be good otherwise. So we need to treat one more patient today, one more, and then it will increase our clinic patients per day again to 25. So we'll get tons more patients tomorrow. So let's have a look at this guy. We've got Paul Hill over here. So Paul's going to go in and he's going to see Nancy Lewis. So let's do physical exam. We're going to have a look at his abdomen and his neck. 
it could be diabetes. So let's do something like. Oh, he's got a pork tapeworm. So he just needs some anti helminthex and we can stop doing all our other chairs. And that should be our 45th patient treated today. So let's see if that is correct. He should be sent home. There he goes. And we've just completed one more objective. If we treat 50 patients today, we get a prestige bonus of 20% for one day. That would be absolutely amazing if we managed to get that. Let's get one more doctor out here for the night shift. Someone a bit cheaper if possible. Let's get Judy in. And then we've got another doctor here at night. Um, let's follow Jessica. She's going to go and see Thomas. She's got a UTI, so she needs some antibiotics, yep, which is happening now. And then she should be out the door. Here we've got Thomas Lewis. Okay, so there's some interesting things that Thomas could have. It could be a couple of these things. Let's do a physical exam. Let's do... Um, what else can we do? Let's look at his blood pressure, maybe. Is that going to give us any kind of indication what the matter is with Thomas? Not really. So let's do a CRP. We can do... We might need to do something like a blood draw. Okay, so we'll see how it goes with Thomas. Mark Baker is waiting for a bed in general surgery, high dependency. So how are we looking in here? Okay, yeah, so we need at least one more bed, really. What we can do for the moment is we could say that high dependency stretches over into there. Um, but then we do need a life monitor. And although we can't because we don't have enough money. So we're going to have to get out a little bit more of a loan. Go back into here and say that that bed has a life monitor, so that's one more bed that they can use for those high dependency patients. Right, how's it going down here with Thomas Lewis? Not, well, not fantastic. Okay, let's do an evaluation. We'll do a differential diagnosis. Let's, hmm. And who's he? We've got Frank Robinson here who had shingles, but it looks like he's been treated. So that should take us up to 48, which it does. So Thomas, he's got insomnia. So he needs sleeping drugs. That's taking us up to 49. Long wait for treatment for Robert Robinson. We must have someone in here at night. So does that mean we need more nurses? Most probably. Let's get in you. It should mean that we have a few more nurses that can move those patients around them. Which should be good. Yeah, okay, perfect. So we have 49 patients. 49. We need one more patient to be treated in our hospital. And we will get a prestige bonus. Which would be extremely handy. We haven't got very long. We've got 40 seconds to do it. That's very, very frustrating. We were one person off of making the 50 mark. It's very frustrating. Oh, yeah, of course you come in now. Stupid Jennifer Barkley waiting until she actually has to come to hospital. It's just so rude. It's just so goddamn rude. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this part here today. Please tune in next episode where hopefully we'll be better off financially and we can start maybe having a bit of a rejig of staff. I like to do that in the game. Every kind of, I don't know, I just get this feeling. You get a feeling and after a few episodes you go, yeah, we might need a bit of a staff rejig just to make sure we're not paying excessive amounts for some of our doctors, nurses, technicians and janitors. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you again next time. See you later. Thank you very much for watching the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't done so already. And please feel free to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Have a great day. See you later.